Day 89. Was there a movie before this one? Like, anywhere. USA. It looks abandoned, though. So, obviously, something happened. Um, and the reason I'm saying this is all these random missing people. I'm sure you don't have this many missing people in one singular town if nothing happened, right? Is this a disaster movie? A kid. Guys. They're walking on their, their tiptoes. Doing everything very gently. So she has one child that is deaf. Another one who is sick. No one has spoken. A quiet place. So is the movie just without dialogue, guys? A silent movie? Maybe an issue with sound in general? We have some scoring entering. This is a scary movie, guys. It's sound. The New York Post. It's sound. It's like a disaster movie. Another director that likes feet, yeah? Solid jib shot, crane shot. I think it was filmed very well so far, guys. Very, very well. It's very warm. What? The, what is that? What is that? Like an alien or something, guys? The reason why the people are no longer apparently anywhere around, apparently, is because they were making some type of noise that brought on this absolute monstrosity? It's fast. Uh, you know? I feel bad for the little boy. He didn't know, right? Or maybe he didn't know, but he just liked the toy. Who's at fault here? The little girl for giving him the toy? Well, the little boy for taking the battery. She's a kid. Why'd you turn your back on a kid? Oh, no. This is a crazy opening, but I guess it's a, you know, kind of a dump on, on storyline here. It's telling us blatantly the reason why people are not here anywhere, apparently, right? Uh, and why it was so important to do everything as quiet as humanly possible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and forecast aliens. Or maybe something that, like, escaped from Plum Island or something. One of these crazy, uh, you know, experimental places. Maybe. <laughs> That's 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 a crazy opening, okay? A kid? Okay, now that's the big jump. Well, what we saw initially was eighty nine. Okay, all right, over a year. About about a year. Okay, so they have like a like a compound. They can hear you. What you need to know to survive. New York City on lockdown. Concern over social unrest. Uh, we'll be glad to meet Bradley. What is that? All right. Okay. Uh, apparently everything is flooding. Churches, mosques, flood with people. Okay. Uh, the world turns to a higher power to grasp the unfathomable. Uh, meteorite hits Mexico uh, with the force of a 
Yeah, okay. All right, you are now alone. Huh. All right. Creature. Alien invasion. Okay, so it's sound. Alien invasion. Get underground. Uh, Shanghai, who's apparently obliterated here, guys. Soundproofing. Ways to soundproof things. Uh, creature is blind. Blind. It attacks sound, and it has, it's armored. How many are in the area? Confirmed. Three. Survive. Okay. Medical supplies and soundproof. I'm just trying to understand the story here, what's actually happening here. What is the weakness? I don't know. It's blind. It attacks sound and armor. And it's armored. Okay. National Guard emergency evacuation. Okay, she's pregnant. Not sure that's a great idea. Like, why would you be thinking about fornication in times like these? Not sure, but either way, people have different, uh, you know, priorities in life. Uh, so he's, he's sitting on top of that uh, the structure of the silo, um, looking at images of the sun that I'm guessing that they lost. So within the, the stress from that, uh, a baby comes, I'm guessing, right? Guys, um, I want to go ahead and give uh, give absolute props. I'd say to um, uh, the director um, because he is, in fact, telling a story. Uh, I would say beautifully, um, without any dialogue. I'm not sure that's a didn't know that was a plausible thing, right? I mean, can a story be told beautifully without any type of dialogue? I guess, right? If you have a really good cinematographer and uh, director of photography, right? Uh, together working with a great director, I'm sure, guys. Um, I guess you have the ability to do this. So, congratulations. I'm not sure I would have done that, but people grieve in their own ways, yeah? So, wait, there are more settlements. Okay. Guys. Okay. Because when there's noise, they want to make sure the audience knows the type of noise that is the bad noise. Oh, no. Okay. I think we're good, guys. We're not good. Wouldn't that be enough sound, too, then? I don't like this world. I don't want to be here. So those don't get, I mean, what are the rules here? Is it like artificial noise, maybe? Is this one day later? Okay. The fact that they have the need to tell us one day has gone forward kind of feels like something terrible is going to happen today. 
They showed us how they're living. Now they need to show us something terrible, yeah? Why? I don't know why. Is that where he has all of the the screens and things? You're giving her hope. False hope. Right? But in a world without sound, why do you why are you even doing this? All right, so we can go ahead and forecast that either something is going to happen to the ones staying or the ones going. How does the other part stay on her head? Is there something like in the base? I don't know, guys. Like a magnet or something? Like a metal plate or something? Why are you packing your bags? Yeah, I don't think this is a good time to run away. Mask your sound. Yeah, she's running away. I guess because she feels like she's being treated like a kid. You're a kid. Don't pull, don't pull. Well, how, how does that make sense? Just walk down the step. Bro, is that enough sound? All right, so this is obviously some type of foreshadowing event, yes? Someone is gonna step on that. They're, they're not wearing any shoes. I bet that's a really good release, guys. <laughs> Imagine. Never speaking above a whisper. Sometimes you just want to hang out with yourself. Do you blame them for what happened? I don't think so. It was no one's fault. Um. Oh, uh, guys, it was no one's fault? Okay, so she definitely gave the kid the toy. I think that was fine. But what she should have done was also take the batteries. Okay. Um, because you're risking a lot for like a five-year-old, six-year-old. Okay, so she definitely was not running away. You still love her, right? Of course I do. Of, of course? Bro, you should be telling your kids you love them every single day, guys. That's just a reality of things. You tell your kids you love them as much as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can. That is a person. Okay.
Nah. Uh-uh. 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 Get away from him. Get away. So they're just basically a bunch of crazies that are out here just waiting. Just waiting for this to happen to them. Uh, he absolutely took apart that woman. He that, he did that. He infected them. Um, all right. You haven't thought at no once? Like, where's my daughter at? Oh no, oh no, 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 not her, not her, not right now. <laughs> you know what's coming. Hide. Bro, bro. This is a crazy time for you to be getting ready to deliver. Don't turn around. Super heavy steps. Obviously, those those clicks are like echolocation, yeah. Oh no, there's another one. There's two. That's heavy. Oh no, not not another kid, bro. Not another kid. Why are the lights flickering? Is it just for like some type of dramatic effect or do they like let off some type of like electromagnetic pulse or something? Okay. okay. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest, based off the mass of these, uh, these creatures, based off of how it sounded, walking on the, the ground, as it sounded, uh, the sound that it made as it was walking down the stairs. I am not sure that shotgun is gonna do a single thing, but piss it off and then delete you, all right? So based off of this, I'm gonna go ahead and forecast that we're gonna most likely lose him. Bro, get up, find your daughter and your son. I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, no. The baby's going to be making crazy noise, isn't it? Oh, the the box, the wooden box with the, the air. Okay. Find your kids. Come on, not another kid, bro. I'm not, I don't, I don't, mm, stop with the kids. Don't scream. Does that mean it's near? Bro, you're making noise. You're making a lot of noise. What is that? A tire, okay, a tractor tire. And this was a good idea to you, right? This was a great idea for you, yeah? <sighs> Bro, c cover the box.
Huh. Frequency of sound affected her negatively, also affected the creature negatively. It's okay. Guys. It's okay. You're safe. Could that be used as some type of weapon against it? They can't hear us. You just need to rest now. Okay. Find the kids, bro. Where are they? Right. Where are they? I'll find them. <sighs> and then I had to go and do laundry and... Yeah, you completely forgot about your daughter all day. All right. Ah, uh, okay. He was with you. How did he... Rockets. She's smart. She'll have found a place. They know what to do. I mean, obviously, you taught them correctly. You know, absolutely. But I just don't know if this would have been the same exact scenario, personally. My main concern consistently has been where the kids are. It was Gary in the back, but my hands were free. You have to stop. So I could have carried him. Should have carried him. I don't blame her for um, for feeling these these feelings here at all. I don't blame her at all. It's been only a year. Keep this in mind here. I, I can't imagine losing a single one of my children. Oh no. Oh, I, I'd probably be just like her or worse. While this man is up here burning images of the kid, that's crazy, bro. I don't know. That's weird. That's really weird. I mean, this is why you have no problem leaving your kids out during this type of thing. You, I mean, never mind. Let me not do that. <laughs> Let me not do that. If we can't protect them, who are we? Good question. You have to protect them. Promise me. Bro, I'm surprised he made it through the night, to you be honest. Protect Like everything in me said the father was not going to make it. I mean, obviously there comes a time like specifically in like this apocalypse situation where you have to raise your kids to um, be prepared for the new world, right? I mean, so um, I think I understand that aspect of the father being like, listen, we gotta, either they're going to sink or swim, right? Um, but I still am not sure that I would be able to be that callous towards my my kids as long as there's like breath in my lungs, because I'm not sure. Maybe smart to wait for the morning or change the lights from red. Their emergency signal, right? And they're below. This whole area is going to fill with water. Right? Guys. Is something down here? Oh, no. Where's the baby? Ugh. Ugh. Get back on the bed. Oh, 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 oh my God, the suspense. Don't even move. Like, it's in there. Bro, put the top on. Put the top on. Every single thing bad. Oh, 
Okay, okay, bro. Okay. All right. We're alive. <sighs> okay. All right. So she's definitely the safest one in here. Stay with her. Whatever the father built. Congratulations. Whatever frequency that is, share that information. Like, I mean, they're still going to thoroughly accost you. Yeah, but... They don't like it. Okay. Hey, guys, if we make it through the night, I think it's time to find a new hideout. Okay? Because... <laughs> They're very selective with the, with uh, the sounds that <laughs> bring them, guys. Because, I mean, with the level of detail, they should be able to hear the heartbeat of people. It doesn't, it didn't really look like the, the father was ended though. Injured, but not ended. Go ahead and turn that back on. Okay, okay, okay. No, I think he's he's done. I think he's done. Maybe a uh, the last valiant uh, effort, guys, to save his kids. Hopefully, there you go, bro. Dying on your feet to save your kids. Listen. It's not over. It's not over. It's nowhere near over, guys. Pay attention to where you're walking, please. Don't step on a snail. Now she finally realizes that it was really her own guilt in her head that made her think the father didn't, no one could love her going forward. <laughs> Guys, what kind of movie is this? Don't shoot that gun. Like that is a dense creature. Shotgun's powerful, absolutely. Yeah, it's time to go, guys. I mean, if you can make it through this, this time, Indestructible, not bullets, soundproofing. What is their weakness? Uh, obviously, whatever your father built that frequency, that's the weakness. Amplify it. Oh. 
Okay. Is it is it going or did it just pass out? Nope. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. You weakened it. Then it's no longer bulletproof? Huh. Well played. This was an incredibly unique movie. Uh, I've never seen anything like this, and I've also never seen a, a movie where the majority of the actual dialogue is basically not there. It's just not there. Um, but I think that's just the overall testament, again, to the people who actually put this together. Um, not much of a script at all, but all the actors delivered their parts very well, right? Um, I'm not sure I like the fact that, you know, they risk kids' lives so much, but I guess that's what makes... Um, you know, uh, I guess the movie's interesting, but but not, not leave the kids alone, kids. All right, let them live. Just to, you know, to to become adults. Okay, not to be used as pawns. But uh, in fact, the kid that did shoot the rockets off did save the entire family. Um, I think this was honestly delivered beautifully. Right? Uh, it was filmed beautifully. I have no idea why these creatures were here. I wish there was a little bit more information uh, given, uh, at least, right? So I can understand a little bit more about why things are the way they are. Um, did I come into a movie where uh, there's already a world around it that exists? <laughs> this is, was this like a video game? Like, what is this? <laughs> All right. Uh, again, I don't really, I don't research any movie that I watch. I just watch everything blindly. Um, so I'm not sure if there was anything else that, that could have been surrounding the actual, um, the lore, at least. Um, it's a world that is absolutely terrible. It's, it's frightening. It's more frightening than, than actually seeing people getting basically sliced in half. It's much more frightening than that. Right? Like, think about you physically being in this universe. How many of you think you could even make it? Not many, if not none, to be honest. Like, I don't think any of us would make it, truthfully, uh, unless we lived in some type of bunker. That's it. <laughs> right? um, that is Maybe that's what Mark Zuckerberg is building in Hawaii. Right. Does he speculate that this that that uh, a bunker will be needed at some time in our future? Is, right? Does Bill Gates? I want to know thoroughly. Okay, um, but overall, I do think that the um, the movie was very very good, very very good. Yes. Now, the in terms of rewatchability, I'm not sure it has much rewatchability because like once you see it, it's a silent movie. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure that I would go back and just watch this again, though. Like, now that I know that it exists, I appreciate the story. Um, I would like to know more about the world. I think that's probably what I would prob most likely watch more often than uh, this segment. Because, again, it does feel like a missing information here, guys. But, all right, listen. If you guys would like to see the full-length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier, all right? Um, catch you guys later.